This is a, an assessment for straight leg hip flexion and it's relevant to your deadlift. Uh, so for this one, we're gonna lay on your back. It would be really great here if you had a, a helper that could help you out um, and just kind of test your passive hip flexion, but also what, what they would do is put their hand underneath your back, um, right behind your PSIS, kind of where your, you know, the top of your hip bones meet the floor and they could put their hand underneath your hip there and they're gonna grab onto this leg and lift it. And so you wanna keep your leg super relaxed. And as soon as they feel your pelvis push into their hand, that means that you've kind of hit your passive range limit. Um, but if you don't have a friend, you can do it yourself. So you're going to put your hands on your pelvis there and start lifting your leg up. And when you feel uh, tissue tighten and when you start to feel your pelvis move that means that you have kind of hit your limit and so a lot of you might find that, that starts to happen pretty early on which may be shocking because you might not feel a hamstring stretch but it just is a compensation there's a coupling that happens where the tension here starts to pull this pelvis with it so if you have a lot of that tension it's going to affect you in things like deadlifting. So some of you might have decent range in your hamstrings or you think that you do, and then doing deadlifts, you're tweaking your back. This is probably why. There's just a little too much tension that's being transferred up into your spine and pelvis. Um, so when we do our mobility segment here, you can do um, two versions. You know, you could do the regular hamstring half kneeling, um, or you could work at a degree that's a little bit more specific to where this problem starts to set in and your pelvis moves. So as you come up, if you start to move here, you can put a barbell up in the rack, put your foot down on the bar, maybe with a pad on top of it, and do your pails by pushing down there, and then see if you can get a little more range without involving your pelvis. Um, so if this is you and you are deadlifting, it would probably make a lot of sense and help your back out um, help you not get injured if you were deadlifting within your capacity, which basically means you're probably not gonna be pulling from the floor. So pulling off of blocks um, or uh, a bar in a rack until you can develop that mobility and control and undo that coupling will definitely make deadlifting a lot safer for you.